Corporation for National Community Service places California at 47th in its state rankings by volunteer rate list, with 25.4 of its population opting in to serve their communities. This is in great contrast to Utah's 50.1% volunteer rate list. Also, while we're on the subject, Los Angeles, Anaheim, and Long Beach come in at a rate of 24.1 of the population serving their community, as opposed to Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Bloomington at the rate of 46.3%. So with this, I'd like to point out that uh, the level of involvement within communities in this state and this city uh, isn't quite up to par to every other, like most states in California and the United States. Since uh, California ranking at 47th out of 50 states, it's, uh, it's way below any other state. So with that, I'd like to point out that we need to encourage our youth to be able to help out communities. And with that, I'd like to argue that schools need to implement programs that help students uh, educate themselves or have the schools educate the students on the, uh, the benefits that come with uh, community servicing and the ways that community servant Community service can really help out the community as a, as a whole. With that, so I have I've already lost myself. According to an article in Education Week in 2018, high school and college students are less likely to volunteer today than they were 15 years ago. Although even at, even then, young, young adults expressed the most intense in community engagement in half a century. The same author that wrote this, that gave us this information, also goes on to say that he's experienced that kids that help out in community servicing, they feel bad for the people that they're helping out, homeless people or just children in need, but there's that much they can do about it. It's just empathy and a bit of help, but they don't fully understand the problem as a whole. They don't really understand what causes homelessness or how those people got to that situation. They're just there to help out. So that way, it kind of brings a light to that the students don't fully realize or don't really get the, the whole problem as, as a whole, that that's where school can come in. Schools can educate these children on uh, homelessness and how that's a big problem in the, in the community. Not only how they're able to help out, like giving uh, recommendations of what places to go to, soup kitchens, but also to try and find solutions to these problems since not much of it is, is, it's still a problem even to today. Uh, students can definitely learn about these situations. Soup kitchens, for example, can help them learn about homelessness and malnutrition in some communities. Uh, helping out with uh, litter, picking up litter throughout the streets or highways can definitely bring up solutions to the problem that plastics have or various litter to the environment and how biodegradable products help out uh, tremendously and having less uh, litter throughout that sticks over thousands of years. And also libraries, libraries give students uh, an insight onto how public services help uh, various people who don't have access to many resources at home. And with that, also students don't fully realize the benefits of the, um, the uh, the benefits of community servicing. There's been a study that shows that, um, according to an, an article in Enterprise Salt Lake City in 2017, reports show that volunteers have greater longevity, higher functional ability, lower rate of depression, and less incidence of heart disease. That's one of the various uh, resources for the health benefits. Similarly, an academic journal by the BMC Public Health in 2018 also states that voluntary services is significantly, it can significantly show increases of better physical and mental health, increased life satisfaction, self-esteem, and happiness. So the remedies to some of the, the stresses and anxieties that students face in school, like having to apply to colleges and having great expectations of you can be to have a, a lending hand to the people in need in your community. This can improve your health and it can give you a better insight on to like what you're working towards. If it's like medical or just community services where you wanna help out. But not only does it provide health benefits, volunteering also helps 
uh, give uh, better chances of landing a job or even a school. In Volunteering Key to Leadership Success, Arthur Stephen J. Hadoba states that volunteering helps cultivate professional skills that may not uh, be achievable in non-volunteer settings and provides an example, uh, an experience that is all but imperative to aspiring leaders. Community service can help students uh, sort of uh, like cultivate or like uh, improve their their skills and being able to manage a small group of people and help out like time management. It also helps out in resumes, resumes and school applications. These sort of uh, these sort of experiences help uh, elevate you above the competition. So that way you stand out more. And you have a better chance of landing like a profession. You can even get work experience before you enter the job market itself. And the solution to the so the solution to the declining levels of community service can just be schools implementing programs that help educate and help stu students really learn of the possible um, time that they can give to the community and where that time can help out with people in need. So in this speech, I've argued through the school about schools not doing enough to incentivize their students to truly put their time towards some, a better cause, not only to benefit the community, but also themselves as well. And so hopefully with the implementation of this idea, we are able to see more happier and thriving communities within our nation. Thank you.